tonight's coverage of Coast Soccer League. I'm your host, Jen Nicolaisen. This is our very first CSL show, so we're going to keep it brief and go right to Top 10 Play. to this week's winners. Now we're going to pass it off to the High Pop Playbook. Hi, I'm Enrique Morales, president of High Pod, and I'm here to introduce the High Pod Playbook this week. In addition to that, I'm here to introduce our guest coach analyst. It's Coach Kinnear. Nice to meet you. Pleasure to be here. All right, so his job this week will be to break down a girls' play and a boys' play from Coast Soccer League. Let's get to it. Hey everyone, this is Coach Kinnear, going to break down Boys U16 Fullerton Rangers in all blue versus Man United in red and white. Team is playing, turns, keeps the ball, keeps the ball, little back heel, forward tries to go forward, and this defender picks up the loose ball and keeps it, keeps it. If he turns here and loses the ball, it's going to be turned over, but he does very well to play the way he's facing. In one way, out the other way, kid takes one touch instead of two, Ball settles nicely and a nice technical ball over the top. Direct route, great touch by the forward and a great technical finish to beat the keeper and three defenders. For a caliber of this player, playing at this level, easy as pie, nothing to it. Very skilled, very good goal by the whole team. Keeping the ball, playing the way they're facing and starting to keep the play flowing. As you can see here, we'll freeze it right here. Nice technical touch. Players behind as a defender doing his job. Forward not turning, playing the way he's facing, keeping the ball. If he turns, we're going to have a problem. But he keeps the play the way he's facing. Doesn't turn, doesn't turn, keeps the ball. 
Gets a little back heel to his friend who's open. Friend tries to go forward, loses it. Defender cleans it up and frees. And this is where a big play comes in here. If this player in blue tries to turn and take on this defender and turns the ball over, takes on this forward and turns the ball over, we're going to have a problem. Because if red gets it, the goal doesn't happen. So he's got to keep his job by keeping the ball. As you can see, he's put his body between the ball and the player, plays the way he's facing, and frees. This player's got the ball, he's going in one way, out the other way, where the open players are on, on the other side of the field. You can see the goalie up top here letting the player know, hey, here's the direction we want to go. He sees something already. Nice technical play, kid uses one touch and frees. The, the player takes a big, big touch off his chest, but here's the problem where this goal comes in. We have nobody here in this space over here. No players whatsoever in this area shutting down this player so that ball doesn't get knocked over the top. This is where the goal took place. Players are too far away and freeze. Ball's being played and that guy is too far away before the ball is played. He didn't shut him down quick enough and play. Great ball over the top, freeze. This individual piece of skill here doesn't happen, this goal doesn't happen if his touch is not a technical touch inside of the foot, away from the defenders that are here, not technically um, near the defenders, gets a touch away, they have more space to run into. Goal is about to come off his line, play, and freeze. As you can see, there's three defenders here. The vision of this forward is done very well to get around two defenders and the goalie who's committed. Goal is already committed, should have stayed on his feet, pushed the player wide. This player would have tucked in, this defender would have tucked in and covered that angle. He would have probably tucked in as well and covered. So it would have been three against one. Because the goalie committed, he's uh, sold himself and that's how the goal is going to take place. A nice technical finish. A great build-up goal from the Fullerton Rangers. I think there were six passes there when everything started to start to finish at this level. Very skilled, very technical. Great job, Fullerton Rangers, and to the coach too. It takes a lot of hard work to do that at this age. Remember, any of these games are available as MP4s or DVD at CSLHiPod.com. Pick up your copy today. Hi, let's take a look at a girls' U16 game, a counterattack between Golden State and Granada United. Long ball over the top. Girl in white defense, nice big clearance. Everybody gets out and pushes up. Ball over the top, direct route. Three against two. Girl cleans it up nicely and a nice technical touch into the bottom corner. Nice counter attack, great defensive header, numbers up and a great goal. Let's watch the counter attack of how this goal happened from the white team, how they scored. The first mistake is this girl's gonna take the ball and dump it in over the top for her players to finish it. Unfortunately, this defender and that defender are standing there. They should be ahead of the ball in spaces in case the white team win it, they can at least challenge. They're doing nothing there but lollygagging. Every, both those players should be ahead of this ball. So let's watch, which allows this player here to be on side. There she takes a nice big kick, drops the ball over the top and frees. Great defensive header by the girl in white. Ball's popped out here. That's where the play is going to start. All these players are start going to run out and start counter-attacking all in this direction. Let's see what happens. And freeze. This girl got the ball. Now she has choices there to this player or a ball over the top. But this player is too far away from this player. She should have been much, much closer to shut her down. But because she started so far back, it allows this player to have different options. And then she plays a great ball over the top and frees. If those girls pushed up, they would have played these two forwards off sides. Unfortunately, they were standing back and lollygagging, which allows these players to be in onside position. And the girls get into the forward and she gets a nice touch and finishes in the bottom of the net and frees. So we have one, two, three forwards, even after the play, and only two defenders. I might give you an extra defender there because she's the last defender. Where are the rest of the girls coming to help their team? Even after the play, there's nobody to be found. 
Great counter-attack by the white team. Numbers up against the black. And usually when your numbers up, you're going to score. Great coaching, great teamwork. Excellent goal. Well done, ladies. That's all for this week's show. Join me next week for more high pod highlights of Coast Soccer League.